All right, everyone knows that carbon wheels are the best, but carbon spokes against aluminum spokes. This question haven't been tested a lot. So in today's video, that is exactly what I'm gonna do. What's up everyone, my name is Charles and welcome back to my cycling YouTube channel. In today's video, it will be super exciting because I will be doing some heavy testing. So the wheels I will be using today are the Hyper wheels from Windspace with carbon spokes and the Lone wheels from Windspace again with aluminum spokes. But what is actually the difference between carbon and aluminum spokes? So carbon spokes are stronger and lighter and that's pretty much it. The right field should technically be better, more snappier. The power from your legs should be transferred more directly to the ground because the spokes doesn't flex as much as in the aluminum one. But does it actually make a difference on the road? Is it just a marketing gimmick? Well, that is what I want to test out today. So I have two bikes, my Windspace T1500 and my girlfriend one as well. I will make sure that both bikes are in exact same way and also make sure the level plane is fair. I will put the exact same tires on both set of wheels. So these are some Pirelli P0 Velo and I will put exactly the same on the other one. And when it comes to the testing, I have several segments that I want to do. So I will go around the Mont Royal here in Montreal. The first test will be a 200 watts up the climb. Once I get down at the bottom, I will now go up one more time, but this time at 310 watts. So this is at my FTP power and we'll go to Ridgewood. So this Ridgewood climb is one of my favorite. It's a super short climb. So this is what I'm going to do. I will go about 450 watts. And after that, there will be one more segment and it will be a sprint segment. It's slightly uphill. Uh, the segment is really short. That will be another good test for me to see if there's difference between the carbon and the aluminum spokes. But the testing is not only about second save or second loss between the wheels. It will also be about the comfort riding them. It will also be about when I sprint. How does the field wheel, does this one flex more than the other? Which one is more reactive? So riding them back to back will be really nice for me to test and see exactly how the wheels perform. All right, now we'll change the tires on my hypers and we'll go for the first test. Got it! Really wasn't too hard. Thank you Pirelli for making tires that fits easily. All right, so I'm now at the bottom of the first climb. So starting straight at that sign. I am right now on the hyper wheels. So the carbon spokes. All right, three, two, one, let's go. And I have to start exactly at 100 watts as well. All right, so first time is done and I've got exactly on target. Well, a little bit under at 219 watts for the climb. All right, climb number two done with the carbon spokes. I average exactly 310 watts. It took me six minutes, five seconds. Watts. All right, exactly 400 watts of average. So I had to burst a little bit more, about 500 watts into the steeper parts, but I was compensating with 350, 375 when it was flatter. <laughs> 200 watts and going 24 and then let's go. All right, so definitely not too sure about that sprint segment. The bike felt really great, went super fast, but there was buses and there was like this construction. I don't know if I made it to till the end of it at full speed. But I had time to head back home and switch bike. All right, now just to wait the bike. All right, so both bikes are basically the same weight, so they're just about 200 grams difference. So I will put a little bit more of water into my girlfriend's bike. This is explained by the fact that the Loon, they are a little bit heavier. Uh, but as I mentioned, I want the plain level field. So both bikes are just about the same weight. Even if mine is this brake, now the other one is the same weight. So no argument about weight. Uh, just see if there's actually a difference now.
Okay guys, we have the result and it's somewhat surprising. I was not expecting this at all. So let's get started. All right, so climb number one. So both runs averaged 219 watts. And there's a big time difference here. The carbon I did 821 and the aluminum spokes I did 816. That's five second difference in favor of the aluminum. It's so counterintuitive, but it's actually the result. Maybe it's because of the wind. Maybe it's the bike had 100 to 200 gram difference. Five seconds faster for the more affordable wheel. Now run number two, which was at 310 watts. Six minutes five and six minutes six. It's the exact same speed at 16.1 kilometer an hour. So now the result for Ridgewood, both one minute and 51 seconds. Exact same time, exact same speed. But ah, the thing that I, I just don't understand. 15 more watts on the carbon spokes to actually get the same speed. 15 watts, that's that's big, that's a big average. So what can I explain this? Well, this climb is actually a steep, flat, steep, flat, steep, flat kind of climb. And uh, let's say I, I was like going my average down onto those flats, then I was getting maybe a bit less speed, or I was getting too much wattage on the steep part. I don't know, but for the exact same time, it took me less watts on the aluminum spokes. And now for the all-out sprints, well, that is finally where the carbon spokes take the win. It did about two seconds faster in that 30 second segment. The max wattage about 50 watts more, which is definitely not negligible when it comes to a final sprint. Uh, this is all explained by the wheel as less flex. The wheel is a lot more stiff and I was able to push a little bit more wattage into those wheels. So the average speed was about three kilometers faster for that sprint. Uh, which come down to two seconds in overall for that segment. All right, so this was really fun to test, but please take those results with a grain of salt as those non-scientific control environment uh, testing. There's no way for me to get accurate result, but it's damn close for that 300 price difference between carbon spokes, aluminum spokes. It's a tough difference now. Is it really worth it to upgrade to that higher end wheel or that lower entry level wheel just does the job and it's totally fine and you don't need that extra marginal gains from carbon spokes. But there's two things to keep in mind. So yes, my testing has been done on two different bikes, which one is rim, one is disc brake, but the weight of both bikes has been put at 8.2 kilograms. So let's say I have the same bike with two set of wheels with the exact same rim, but one would be carbon spokes and the other would be aluminum spokes. Well, the carbon spokes would have saved you about 150 to 200 grams, but will that make the difference going uphill? Uh, will that be a few extra seconds? Probably, but when both bikes are the exact same weight as we saw today, there was absolutely no difference. All right, now what is my final opinion on carbon or aluminum spokes? Well, for me, I'm a sprinter and I do feel that the wheel is a lot stiffer on the carbon spokes. So for me, it's worth that extra 300 bucks. But if you're not this huge sprinter and you don't need those little extra marginal gains at the end of a sprint, uh, you just want a good set of wheels uh, that will get you up any climbs as fast as your body is with carbon spokes. The aluminum spokes is just totally fine. Well, if you are in the market for new cycling wheels, well, I recommend you to check out the Windspace wheels, either the Hyper or the Loon. I've been riding those wheels for the last year now. I absolutely love them. I will leave a 10% discount in the description down below. So if you want to use the code CHARLESWIMET10 at checkout, you're going to get a sweet discount. I'm going to get a kickback and everyone's gonna get happy about that. Is that a good deal? All right, that's it for today's though. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already. I have a lot more cycling content coming in the next few weeks that you don't want to miss out. My name is Charles and I will see you guys on the road or to the next video. Peace.